the pistachio stitch. Very pretty. It is a multiple of 4 plus 2. I have 22. That means 20 multiple of 4 plus 2. One for each edge. So I did two rows of only knit as a base. And then you need to make one row of knit, one row of purl, one row of knit, and one row of purl. So let's do this. Row number one. You knit one stitch and then between stitches two and three you go down four strands. That's one, two, three, four. So you poke in there and bring up a loop. Knit four. One, two, three, four. And then in that same space, you go in again and bring up a loop. So there we have it, nice and soft. So now let's do another of the flowers. We go in between stitches two and three. Go down four strands, that's one, two, three, four. And bring up a loop. Knit four, one, two, three, four, and then go into that same space and bring up a loop. So there we have another flower. So let's do that again. We go in between strands and between stitches two and three. Four strands down, one, two, three, and four, and bring up a loop, knit four, one, two, three, four, go into that same space, and bring up a loop. So now we have another flower. So let's do that again between stitches two and three. And down four strands, one, two, three, four. And bring up a loop. Knit four. One, two, three, four. Go into that same space and bring up a loop. So the last one, I go in between stitches, that's crooked. I go in between stitches two and three and four strands down, one, two, three, four, and bring up a loop. Knit four, one, two, three, four, go into that same space and bring up a loop. And then the last stitch, you knit. Row number two, you always knit the first one and the last one. And now that loop that we made, we're not going to knit, we're just going to pass it as if to purl. Yarn in the front, pass as if to purl. And then purl four, one, two, three, four. And the next strand, you pass as if to knit. Next one, we pass as if to purl. And purl four, one, two, three, four, and pass as if to knit. Then pass as if to purl, and purl four, one, two, 
three, four, and pass a slip to knit. Next flower, pass a slip to purl. Purl four, one, two, three, four, and pass a slip to knit. Next, you pass a slip to purl. And purl four, one, two, three, four, and pass a slip to knit. And the last stitch you knit. And now all our yarn overs, all the loops are straight. So Row number three, you are going to knit one, and now you see that loop that goes, that we pulled up, it needs to hug this next stitch, so it needs to go over the next stitch, like so, and then knit that stitch, knit two, and then the next loop has to hug the next stitch, it needs to be over. So we put it over that next stitch and we knit that stitch. So let's do that again. This loop needs to go over this stitch so there we have it, knit that stitch, knit the two in the middle, and then that loop needs to go over that stitch, so we put it over, and then we knit that stitch. Again, that loop has to go over this stitch, so I can knit that stitch and this one is going to go over, knit the two stitches in the middle and then that stitch goes over that last one and we knit it. Again, this loop needs to go over this stitch, so the, now I knit this stitch, knit the two in the middle and this loop needs to go over the last stitch in the flower. So again, that loop needs to go over that first stitch, then I knit, knit the two in the middle, and then the loop needs to go over that stitch, I knit it, and then the last one I knit. Row four, we're going to knit the first one and the last one, and all the other stitches we purl. Now see you when I finish this row. So since we want our flowers to be alternated, on this row we are going to, which is row five, knit one and then knit two stitches so that we can go into the next section. So I go in between stitches two and three, work four strands down, that's one, two, three, and four. Bring up a loop knit four, one, two, three, four, go into that same space and bring up a loop and then we go into two stitches over between two and three, four strands down, one, two, three, four, bring up a loop, knit four, 
one, two, three, four, and go into that same space and bring up a loop. Again, between stitches two and three, one, two, three, four strands down, bring up a loop, knit four, one, two, three, four, go into that same space and bring up a loop. So two stitches down, one, two, three, four strands down, bring up a loop, knit four, one, two, three, four, go into that same space, and bring up a loop, and then knit the next two stitches and the last one you knit. Row number six. You knit the first one and the last one. So now we're going to bring the yarn to the front, purl two, and then the next loop stitch we pass as up to purl and purl four one two three four and pass as if to knit so let's do that yeah so again pass as if to purl purl four one, two, three, four, and pass as if to knit. Again, pro, pass as if to purl. Purl four, one, two, three, four, and pass as if to knit. Pass us up to purl, purl four, one, two, three, four, and pass us up to knit. The last three we purl, that's the two for the alternation, and last one we knit. So now we have our stitches nice and straight and let's go to the next row row number seven we are going to knit the edge stitch knit two for the alternating and now we're going to pass that loop stitch over that stitch there so this stitch is going to be hugged by the loop and then I knit that one, two for the center and that loop has to go over that stitch there and I knit it. So again, that loop has to go over this stitch, I knit it, knit the next two in the middle and that stitch needs to go over that one and knit it. Again this loop has to go over that stitch and knit it, knit the next two. That stitch needs to be over the next one, the loop, and then knit that one and now again that stitch needs to be knitted and hugged <laughs> and then knit the two in the middle 
pass that loop over the next stitch, knit it, knit the last two, and knit the edge stitch. And the next row, you're going to knit the first and the last, and all the other stitches you are going to purl. And you repeat those eight rows, and this is what your stitch looks like. Look how pretty that is. So this would be very nice like for a little girl's dress. That pretty or a table runner or, or a pillow or cushion that would be very pretty also put a nice background so thank you for watching share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and I will be seeing you next time yeah.